Welcome to the Friday Night Fight Night for Find Me Alpha LCS. I am Sean Minmung Shannon, joined by Joe Biscuit Hat, last name. Sturino. Uh, Sturino. Uh, we got a great match on hand for you guys tonight. Uh, we have Codename Carries Next Door, our first place team here in the Find Me Alpha LCS, going up against the lunch lunchboxes of Doom, uh, who are having. Uh, and Rich Jirachi Manis will be doing the stream for us tonight. Uh, Maddie's, Maddie's, <laughs> they will be doing it. Uh, so as we jump into uh, Champ Select right now, um, we do see that Big Diok Jimmy will be subbing in for Juice Miyashin uh, on the side of Lunchboxes of Doom. And I'm getting memed in chat. I hate everybody right now. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Good. No, don't. All right, I'm muting you right now. Oh God. All right, so here we go. No, you're not mod anymore. Uh oh yeah 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 yeah. Fair. <laughs> well, good luck. All right, see you guys. Uh no. So uh, as we come into this uh, pick band. Uh, Going right here, Codenames Carriers Next Door right now are the number one team, team in the league, Joe, sitting at a 4-0, winning both of their matches 2-0. And we have Lunchboxes of Doom, who are sitting at 1-3 overall, uh, going 1-1 one one, uh, one week and then 0-2 another week. Uh, what are you looking forward to today, Joe? Um, You know, with all the games I've casted, um, I've been focusing on casting for CND here, and I got to say, while they are 4-0, the games they won have not been, you know, stomps. They've been, you know, um, a lot of these games have been determined by one team fight or one crucial objective here that led to another team fight or something like that. And so I think what I'm more excited, what I'm the most excited about here is seeing how the Lunchboxes of Doom will try to fight their way against CND here and maybe make them... Um, you know, have their first loss here this week. Sean, what about you? Yeah, I, I definitely tend to agree. Uh, there was the infamous 80, 90 kill two games between Codename Carries Next Door and News Team Assemble in week one, mm -hmm. our first match of the entire split, which could have gone either way. Just kind of had uh, News Team Assemble out comped, I think, in one game. And then also uh, in all games, though, there's been one consistent player for Codename Carries Next Door. And that's sort of my... Matchup of the week uh, for this game is Maya in the jungle on Codename Carries Next Door versus Irion on uh, Lunchboxes of Doom. Uh, this jungle matchup is incredibly uh, pivotal for, I think, who's going to decide uh, the winner of tonight's matches. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's um, especially when we get into pick and ban here. We're not there just yet. We'll be there soon. But um, it's going to be interesting to see how the Lunchboxes of Doom um, tries to ban out Maie. We saw last week, um, uh, I don't remember who CND played against off the top of my head, but um, they didn't necessarily ban him out right away. And that team really saw, you know, they, uh, yeah, send nudes. Send nudes didn't um, ban the Olaf right away, and we just saw Maya, you know, kill it again. Uh, game one of that week, and I'm hoping that Lunchboxes of, of Doom here will actually triple ban out Maya just so we can on something that we haven't seen him uh, on before. Personally, um, besides the Graves and Olaf, I don't really remember any game. I think. Yeah, exactly. And so I think I want to see him play something different here. Um, just because if you can only play Graves and Olaf, you know, um, and you don't have anything else to supplement that, you know, um, you know, it's one thing to be a one trick. It's another thing to be a two trick. But if you're not very versatile, 
um, here in PMA LCS or just in league in general, you're not necessarily uh, deemed a good player. And I'm not saying Maya is a good player or is not a good player. What I'm, God damn, it sounds so bad. I'm so sorry, Maya. Um, I'm just, I just wanted to see you play something different. That's all I want. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. So I think if go going into if we want to be a little bit more analytical, I don't think you triple ban him. I think you have to throw a respect ban towards mid lane, most likely. Uh, Maye, yeah, Maye. I think these aggressive style jungles that have a lot of early agency in the game need to be taken away from him because I would love to see what Codename Carries Next Door does without him having that kind of early game jungler to where he can either gank lanes effectively being able to put out a lot of damage or just go invade the enemy jungle and nobody can do it so um i'd be i would not throw the ban at the kha'zix anymore i'm not one that believes kha'zix is in a really favorable uh spot right now in the current meta with the new jungle changes uh graves and olaf are especially great uh so it'll be really interesting to see um i think though it's gonna come down to win conditions pre-draft are if you can if your lunchbox is a doom your bot lane has been the bright shining spot the entire time and with also your uh, uh elliot in the jungle on your uh on his junglers sorry hiccups um and then if your codename carries next door just having your bot lane be low econ economy and hopefully maya can make all those early game aggress uh, aggressive plays happen sad <laughs> well if Olaf doesn't get banned here and Graves doesn't get banned here I think it's a travesty yeah I would much rather Yeah, I'd, I'd much, I'd much rather face the Kha'Zix, quite honestly. Um, Graves is a very strong champion. Olaf falls off later into the game, but that means you just have to play so defensively if that's the one that you're going to leave up. Because as of right now, the Velkaz ban does come in. Kaisa banned on the side of Codename Carries next door, focusing that bot lane with their first two bans. Yeah, you know, we, we've seen it um, before and we'll see it again. The Rakan basically has just been perma-banned or picked um, for almost the entirety of PMA LCS here. Just strong pick now right in the support lane. And so um, I definitely respect that ban. Um, we've, it's just, there's so much potential. Oh yeah. my god, it's bad. I'm no, so see, sad. No, okay, so like, you want to pick your poison. Olaf he's going to get low in the jungle so either they want to play you might draft all three losing lanes because when talking to box earlier today uh they understand that their early game is not the their strong suit right now the first pick does, does come in for code names carries next door i'm assuming and it'll be the zin Zhao. yeah zin Zhao. so they've also decided to ignore the olaf so the uh, non-Olaf ban well spent, apparently, because the Zin Zhao is uh, creeping up as one of the stronger picks right now. And then Alice starts to wane.
Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, and as we've seen, Sivir in these vibes with the Lulu coming in. Um, I'm not, yeah, I'm not, you know, personally for me, uh, as a support main, I'm not a big fan of, you know, these mage supports. Um, and so I'm not really sure how the Lulu goes into it. I believe it doesn't really do well um, later in the game. But, um,. didn't either pick the ADC or jungle right here. You had Swain as your sweat flex pick. So now they know exactly what solo lanes that you have. And now you can ban out the solo lanes because, I mean, but you could have banned out the solo lanes anyway because you already knew where you were going to put them. Most likely. Just mm -hmm. a little bit interesting. In terms of junglers that I want to see Irion on, I want to see the Rengar come out. I want to see the Rengar come out and See, the Zaya, the Zaya was still up, and that's one of Piper's best. I mean, to be fair, as Jack pointed out, Alistar is just good in the server because you can't spell shield the whole combo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but, so the Trundle's matchup in the Zhao is not the best either. Although, I'll be interested to see if Malie takes Phase Rush, which is the predominant uh, keystone for Zen Zhao right now, or if it goes Electric Cube Press the attack. Or even mm -hmm. Fleet, but I think, I think Phase Rush is definitely the stronger of the two. Um, I'm just, I'm really, really interested at the fact that you would because if you don't pick the Orn right there, and let's say you pick your jungler, or you pick your ADC, or you'd have to pick, let's say you pick your jungle, you don't get these double ADC bands most likely. Um, I'm, is this going to be a Lucian or a Callista ADC? That's what this looks like right here. Whoa, oh. yeah, we got... And then the Brand coming out right there. Brand Malphite, that is a lot of AoE Wombo right there. Mm -hmm. For a codename carries next door. They, they just want to go in. But Swain, Swain will be fine building... Uh, Abyssal this game and Orn can build a banner which will be extremely and then there's the Jinx right there so you need you need some team fight presence but man
Yeah, it's the most mobile of the. It's one of the most mobile of the le of the ADCs left open. Um, yeah. Well, there's your pick and ban for game one, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like Box is trying to run a, protect, a, a protect the Jinx comp here. I mean, Box is so much more tanky than CND. Just looking at these five, you know, these ten champs that were picked. I mean, it's gonna be interesting to see how CND um, goes through with this. I also want to like point out that CND is picking a lot of champs they haven't played before here. Um, besides the Sivir, I don't think we've seen Rafal, Maye. Uh, Panic or uh, Yurimus play any of these champs in PMA LCS, so it's going to be interesting to see. And I think I got my wish of wanting to see something a little PND this week. Yeah, uh, I just it is a little bit different, but the style of play remains the same. You mm -hmm. get you get Maye on something that's you know aggressive, super strong meta pick. Um, is good to in almost every matchup, and they've banned all the other ones that he's really like equal or weak in. Wait, Again, let me get rid get... of a bag of cement real quick. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> uh, I still have that left over from last night. Yep. Then you have the bot lane, which is going to become self sufficient on Sivir and Lulu, uh, and they all come on towards the mid game. And then you have. A team fight mage in the mid lane for um, Panic at the top hat, and <laughs> Rafal has kind of just been. He plays the Rumble, but he does. He has something that has an uh, a team fight impactful ultimate. Mm -hmm. um, so the while the champions may be different, the identity remains the same, and it okay. seems that no. In my opinion, uh, I don't. I just want to see. Also, Sivir allows many death ball comps like this. I just want to go forward to be played. If you're the mm -hmm. side of box, though, again, I I wish I would have seen. It may not have been good in the late game, but I don't think you win late game with what you've already previously drafted in your draft, which is essentially a one damage comp. It being jinx. Right. Again, and even if you before the jinx pick, you weren't going to win late game against Codename Carries next door. Look at that Malphite Brand Siver. You have nothing on your team that can answer that yeah. in terms of damage. Like, you have to CC perfectly against that. So I would have loved to have seen the Lucian right here. Uh, I mean, also, to be fair, Lucian as of the, your one damage set is not great. Like, he's, yeah, exactly. he's, not, he's not very, not particularly safe. He's so short range, he wants to be, like, bashing in and against the Malphite Zin Zhao. Just, ugh, that does not sound fun whatsoever. So, yeah, Lunchboxes kind of put themselves, just they back themselves into a corner with how they drafted. Yeah, I mean, there's still win conditions on their side. Um, get to late, get Jinx fed. <laughs> um... I would not want to go late against Codename Carry next door. Get Jinx fed. <laughs> Drop <laughs> early. Yeah, make yeah. make her 30 minute power spike come on at 22 minutes, and if you can make that happen, well then we're we're looking at something because Trundle still does really well into a tank, and they only have one tank on the side of Codename Carry's next door. He jumps in, you ult him right away. You get Alistar to headbutt pull the rest of the team is trying to follow up. Swain bodies everybody with his. Uh, what is it, Demonic Ascension or whatever the hell it's called? Swain, oh god, I have no idea. He, when he goes all Birdman on the bitches. Alt? Yeah. <laughs> when he uses his ultimate, perhaps? Yes. <laughs> when he does that, and then Orn, you know, oh so they have a god. lot of ways to disengage, but you gotta be proactive in that bot lane. It, it is your win condition right now if you are Lunchboxes of Doom. So, yeah. Uh, um, what do you got for this one, Joe? Biscuit hat? Um, you know, Sean, I think I gotta, you know, you know, they're 4-0, they have a little <laughs> bit better of a comp, I think I gotta get it to code name. um, I just, you know, like, we, with all the points we've brought up, um, and personally, the comp I would want if I was going into this game would be code name, uh, Kids Next Door, just, um, they, they, they have a lot more damage going on here, um, like you said, they're, their team ideology, I guess, still remains the same with my and uh, Rafal playing the uh, 
you know, tank with, uh, you know, team oriented tank top, um, you know, the brand mid, I'm a brand main. I love seeing that. Um, he'll be able to, you know, panic. will be able to just uh, throw out, you know, boatloads of damage here. Um, you know, we saw a Donville Siver earlier. He, he, I think he got MVP on it actually last weekend. Yeah, if he I did. remember correctly, one, yes. he didn't die at all. Um, you know, very flawless game there on the Siver. And so he went I, 12, 5 0 and 11 five, on the yep. Siver. There we go. I'm looking at the right KDA now. And, and so for me, um, yeah, I'm going to give it to CND. Uh, Rich, what do you think? CND as well. I think CND's comp just has everything you want in the comp. They have the engage from the Malphite. They have plenty of AoE, Malphite, Brand, Sivir. They have the disengage. They have protection in the Xin Zhao and the Lulu. They have plenty of wave clear in that Sivir. Sivir can also speed up whoever needs to get into position for an engage or disengage. Meanwhile, on Lunchbox's side, they have, yes, they have triple tanks. Yes, they have good protection for this Jinx, but a Malphite can just kind of ignore everything that Lunchbox has to protect the Jinx. If he gets a good flash ult on top of that, and Brand, and Brand just sends the ult in, Sivir pops W some W autos, gets those bouncing crits onto her, or if the Zin Zhao can dive onto her, I think there's not a ton of ways that they can necessarily keep the Jinx alive. It's not your traditional protect the AD carry comp. A lot of the um, a lot of the protection is conditional, like the Orn ultimate takes a while to set up. Trundle just has a pillar and that's it. So um, that plus the brand into triple tank is just gonna shred through everyone. It's, and I'm even like three and a half tank almost, cause Swain is gonna want to look to build a bit tankier. So just brand has so much room to just go nuts in fights. That plus CND has just a super well-rounded comp. Plus two, four, and oh, I give it to CND here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to say that uh, before I tell my prediction, there is a bet going on in chat. Murphy Raudette says, I'm calling it now. Frank gets two solo kills on Jimmy. Uh, so if he does do that, you're going to win some pride. And if you don't, you have to gift everyone in the chat a mystery skin. <laughs> so, oh, uh, oh, really? Oh, okay. wait a yeah. minute. No, I'm kidding. Uh, well, I was about to say. No. That'd I made for Uh, yeah. We're... The Unseen Piper is the deadliest. Yeah, Piper might be <laughs> Unseen a lot because it's going to be green gray screen for him. <laughs> in this team I was going to say, he's uh, not playing Kai'Sa. But, um, I think you have to, uh, you have to give it to C and D. I think they have the easier win condition. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see some Fiasco's assist PMA LCS after wall. <laughs> They're uh, oh, now. Yeah. oh my god, I can't handle this. But uh, <laughs> get your uh, hashtag C and codename carries next door. <laughs> hashtag C and C and D win. And hashtag okay. box win. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do, you think the, do you think the lunch boxes as of Doom have spelled their own Doom during the draft, or can they box up the codename carries stop. next door and put stop. them in their own bag? Just, just, just stop. No, please, oh, no. Uh, uh, and hashtag bat win if you're General Dill. Is, yeah. Uh, God. Hey, are we running low latency on the stream? What do you mean? Well, because like, it seems like the delay between what's live and uh, what seconds. I see on stream is actually short. Oh, it seems like five now. Cause like yeah, when I we think... when we loaded in, it was uh he rent phase rush. Good job, my yay. Spam my yay in chat, please. When he makes a good play, no. hold on. Here's the no, <laughs> no. Yeah, Menbung, you're canceled. That's it. That's no, it. no, it's no, happening. No. And then if he makes a bad play, wait, what the hell? Why am I? Why did I get booed back to the client? Hold up, technical oh. difficulties. Reconnect. Here we go. I think we're good. We're good. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. And okay, we I are. Cl in. I clicked something wrong. Oh boy. I'm gonna need to take a second to load. I'm not telling you how to live your life, Murphy. I'm telling you how to live your Twitch. <laughs> Two totally different things. <laughs> Christ. Will uh, Will can't even flame me in Twitch chat. He wants to flame me in the cast. My yay, wow. my nay. Oh my. Why are? Yeah. We... That's. That's that is our official like official. ranking system. That's our official ranking system in Find Me Alpha LCS. 
How how many ma yays out of seven? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Captain Dogbeard, let's go. Gotta get the gotta get the uh, yes. Sean, give it up for your casters. Let's go. All right, Joe. What were you gonna say? I said I gotta give it six ma yays out of seven here. Yeah, I I, th I think I think I think it's a five. Maillets out of seven, it's a it's a perfect score. I would I'm, okay. I would like to press F Maillet to pay respects, Maillet. You want to F Maillet respect? I love press the old F Maillet. Maillet. <laughs> fire the cat. No, just fire rich. Hashtag fire rich. Okay, and... Yeah, I mean, it looks like we have a classic start here in PMA LCS. Nothing, nothing too cheesy. Um, what do you mean classic start? Nothing too cheesy. A classic start is a level one team fight. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Uh, we haven't actually... You know, I actually I think oh, classic... God, what did I just spawn? I, I think a classic one is every time that Joe's casted, there's been a pause within, like, the first three minutes, so... Oh, like... true. Fair, I think, fair enough. I think PMA LCS classic is Joe saying you hate to see it. I mean, yeah, you also hate to see it. No, uh, stop. So... No, oh, yeah, that, that phrase no. is cancelled. <laughs> Rich is cancelled right now. Oh, I'm always cancelled. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't I don't get the joke, but it looks like my is gonna start red here. You don't want while to get the Euron joke. Starts blue. Um you know, can't, can't really argue with the starts here. Everything's looking pretty good. Yep, standard starts coming up from both junglers getting their bot lane leashes. Uh Zin Zhao going for this Raptor camp. He is going to be in so much pain. He, he oh. is currently in so much Those pain. Chickens. He started yeah, machete and he's burn. He's gonna have to burn through both his pots most likely because he doesn't want to smite the camp. Oh, sorry about that. Um. Ah, oh, no, he. Man. So he's gonna just... go for the scuttle. Hashtag me rich. <laughs> um. I mean that's. I mean, you know, it I is actually kind of proof. So. Yeah. Um, well, I. Everyone hypes up Scuttle, but I feel like a lot of people are just like, it's really not that powerful. Okay, so so here's oh, the thing. Wait a second. If you get if you get both Scuttles in the first part of it, it's huge. But if you just trade Scuttles, it's essentially like you got a Gromp camp over them. As Ellie Aeron is going in to invade oh. on the Maya, they're gonna meet! Oh no! Oh my god, there's something going on here. We got a smite on the blue buff. They're both just slapping each other. Q's going off. The press the attack proc's gonna get on a Maya, but will it be enough? Blue buff is a Woo! We got a first blood on Yeru on here, and Maya will go down, dying for his blue. Oh my god, did Rafal get caught out here? Panic on the top half. It's gonna W bad instincts who will knock Panic at the top half up and will <laughs> on Yuru on. I was right, it's a classic PMA start here, folks. Um, two kills go over to the side of the lunchboxes of Doom. Three buff Ruyang gets two kills early. Are you? Are you, you know? Oh, <laughs> that oh, trundle pillar. Oh, they're gonna try oh, to do god. that. Oh my god! Panic at the top head is yes, still smite. going in okay. here, but I was gonna say Ruyang has might to secure that. Yeah, or um, lunchboxes are gonna be able to pull out that trundle orn combo, trundle pillars, orn. Oh my! Wait, the Ruyang just did a little bit of dancing. Nice, but <laughs> yeah, and orange charges into that, gets that instant knock up. If they time it right, actually, the or I think the Orn can start his charge. Orion pulls up the pillar while the Orn is charging and gets an even more surprise knockup. But I, I think yeah. theoretically, theoretically, it takes that's that takes a lot of coordination. But mm -hmm. I mean, two early kills for Orion. Like, come on. Yeah, I'll, you well, hate I'll to say see this: it. that while there is some speculation about where what maya i think do we have a rotation right now, on mid we here? have four collapsing mid oh, we got oh four God. people collapsing on mid here the zinzao is going to w in but big, big jimmy's going to flash out here you know you hate to lose your flash no, but hey you you must you find a different phrase do it <laughs> <laughs> sorry okay i'll stop using you hate to see it um i think you can use whatever phrase you want rich uses uh not long it's not even I there. don't use it that much. God. Every time something goes down that's an objective that's not a dragon or a baron, you say it's not long for this world. That is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to go on and talk about that level one. If the Zen Zhao, while Phase Rush doesn't really give you much combat stats, 
There was a better collapse on the side of lunchboxes of Doom. Mm -hmm. Also, mm -hmm. Elliot was there faster. He had the double buff, and he also wasn't extremely low from doing Raptors while only having um, the machete, which machete doesn't really help you with taking Raptors. You need the talisman. So right. he could have been faster to his own buff to where this would have never happened. I think it's a missight on the side of Maye. So I give that three Mane's uh, <laughs> out of out of seven. Zen was oh. full health. Zen, Zen was full health because he, he he was able to get the scuttle afterwards. But he wouldn't if he would have passed there earlier, yeah. we wouldn't have Time. to worry about the contest of the blue buff. Exactly. He he yeah, the raptors chunked him down, made him burn through his um consumable but or refillable, but also took up just a lot of time over on my god, the god Euron's gonna go and eat Euromoose. My directed camera took me away, I'm so sorry, but it uh, looks like Slaga okay. will burn the Ignite on a Donville and there will be no kills exchanged, just some summoner spells. My A is gonna come to try to defend this and nothing is gonna happen. Oh, yeah, in the uh, pink hold up. Oh, CNC and Deer starting Dragon. Piper is low on mana. Arugan Elliot's gonna spot him out. He's trolling. He's literally he sees trolling. Him. He's yeah, he is he's the troll, oh, and now God. he's trolling. You're oh, gonna God. go in and oh. the smite, and that dragon will go onto the side. Oh my God! And oh yikes! Uh, will panic attack? <laughs> no, he will not. Oh my god, Euron is 4 and 0, oh, everybody. But the Ornolf is going to come out on Rafal, land on Rafal. Uh, Bad Instincts is going to oh, knock him up. Oh, wow. Ooh, the Braille pro not Braille, the Brittle proc. Excuse me. That will be a kill Braille. on Bad Instincts. Yikes. Four um, kills you know, for we, on the early in the early game. It is That's five and zero oh against CND here. What are they going to do to come back, boys? What does CND need to do here to to you know close in on that gold lead that they are behind and get some kills here? Wave clear with a Donville by um by executioners by uh, he, grievous wounds for this trundle. Hope he doesn't shred panic at the top hat. I honestly think you just you just sit and farm in all of your lanes and just get vision around the map. There's no mm -hmm. vision on the side except for one pink warden and then a ward in the river brush uh, right there. Uh, Jimmy is doing fairly well. He's only 10 CS down in a lane that's not necessarily his own, but he does play Swain quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, but ha And then the uh, banner rush coming out from top lane is uh, absolutely massive. Oh, uh, definitely. That pressure that Bad Instincts is going to create here with that Banner of Command is just going to be... It's going to be really, you know, um, bad against CND here. Um, having that top lane pressure, um, especially with, like, the better team fight uh, orientation that um, the Lunchboxes of Doom have had. Yeah, it's just... It's crazy to see. We, we see the uh, Zin Zhao, you know, going... You know, it's an early game champion, but Elliot's pathing was just better, and that's something that uh, Elliot has definitely been consistently good at, is being at the right place at the right time, either being able to read the enemy jungler, Oh, as oh my god, Panic at the top hat's gonna land three stacks, W will not land, but Swain will pop his ult, and it will not be enough as the minions are just pounding him, Panic at the top hat's gonna flash though, and Big Dick Jimmy is gonna pop his Zonios, but Panic at the top hat will throw down a W, but Euron's here, and he's saying, wait, <laughs> um, the TP's coming in for a fall, but he'll cancel it, um, wow, just so much is happening here on the first nine minutes of the game. <laughs> Yeah, you hate to no see worse. it. No, no, uh, you can't that, use, Oh, God. <laughs> so, they both burned stopwatch, right? But overall, it's a net plus. For, hello, Instincts. Uh, it is a net plus for the side of Lunchboxes of Doom. Uh, one, they only burned the stopwatch. Two, they get assist kill on it, and TP and Flash were burned from both solo lanes. Oh, Rafal's gonna uh, ult right into Bad Wait, Instincts, but Euron's a, here to what? to stop him. Wait a minute, and the Aura right. ult is gonna come out and hit Rafal. Uh, actually, he's not gonna hit it again, and Rafal will go down to Euron and Bad Instincts, giving Bad Instincts the kill. What? Did he, he... he... hold up a second. He had this pink there. 
I'm pretty sure he spied a Ruyan on the mini map, and then I, went in. Okay, then. Um, um, I got. I nothing. think he personally. I think he might have thought he had more mana than he actually had, um, because he definitely ulted in a little bit after he saw a Euron. So I'm not really sure the thought process there. You hate to see it, but um, you know. So my my thing is. Bad instincts for CND. Right. You uh, you just you just burn teleport in top lane. Then you go in. Oh my god! Panic at the top X is gonna alt in on Big Dick Jimmy, but it will not be enough to kill him. Sorry. I no no, it's fine. It's fine. The action happens. You take over. You're play by play. We almost but, had solo kill number two come in there. Well, uh, yeah, but I I'll say this: the penetration boots are a bit atypical. I feel. There was so much CC that we talked about in the uh, pre post or pre match. Oh, and you're right. Oh, oh my god, Mighty's gonna flash in and kill Big Dick Jimmy. Oh, and Mighty oh, is gonna blow up Brand, and Mighty will not have enough to kill Euron, but Euros is here and will get the Q off on Euron, oh and Euron is flying yeah. a little bit. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about dude. it. Holy crap, what is going on? The coronation on the side. Of the lunchboxes of doom is really is really coming into play here against cnd i mean well, you know me, me i always appreciate a good jinx snipe so all i yeah. want to say is as trundle would say he's not troll chief he's troll king king right now whoa he went devourer on the trundle <laughs> He is going all in on this. Dude, Euron is Blood not Razor. giving a fuck here. He is putting his team on his back, and he knows six that and he has oh. six kills. Six and and that, oh. oh my god, ending with six kills is a lot, let alone in two kills a minute here in this game is you mean nuts. A kill per two minutes. A no, kill, we, we, oh, we, we, said, we've you said two a kills a minute. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh no, oh, no, yeah, my it's bad. It's almost a kill per minute. Okay, guys. I'm the Asian uh, on the broadcast, it, it, I can do math. It, Yikes. <laughs> yeah, this, I don't it's a thing! No, I know Asians who can't do math, okay? But I'm I one of them. Oh my god, are we gonna have a fight here for Scuttle? No, we are not. See? Captain you're a trundle can- oh no, I'm not so- oh no, oh god. Oh, we hold up, we have a sub. <laughs> Let me go look. Wait, I missed it. No. We'll Thank you no, so much. Uh, I don't know who's up. Hold on. It's It'll probably. Pop, a pop up on my Murphy. phone in ten seconds. Captain complicated. Thank you for following. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that. Twenty four kills in twelve minutes. Proud of you. Yeah. Yep. That's quick math. One plus one equals three. Let's go. Uh, oh boy. No, but okay, so the sword shoes are a little bit atypical. There's a lot of the CC, and oh, you're gonna be as Maya is almost oh, gone out. Sweat. Oh Ooh. my god, so he's gonna land the double knockup and he's gonna stun Maya. Maya's gonna go back in and kill Piper. Oh, and that is it for Panic at the Top Hat, as he will go down to Swain, and this will be a dragon on the side of Lunchboxes of Doom. One well, for one, the, the primary carries go down, and Infernal Dragon is gonna be actually pretty huge. Oh, wait a second. Maya if, if the, steal there. If the unseen Piper is the deadliest, I guess when you see Piper, you know he's gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that he just immediately got here. jumped on by Maye. Also, the Xin Zhao um, ultimate, quite honestly, the most broken thing in the entire game outside of Fiora's repost because of what Why? it can. Why? Yeah. Okay, so. So the way that the new Xin Zhao R works, it blocks projectiles, and the more that you attack him, the longer it stays up. Oh. The more okay. he's in combat. And I'm going to let everybody know this now, but Xin Zhao's R can block Karthus's ultimate. Oh, yeah, that is pretty busted. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's PMA LCS, let's go! And we have a pause here. It looks like it's going to be on the side of Lunchboxes of Doom because somebody has to pee here. I'm not really sure who, but um, can we yeah. have? We need to have something. Or the more he stays in combat, excuse me, General Dill, while he's in combat. It's the more he attacks. He he, attack. he protects and he attacks, <laughs> but he yeah, also stays attack. He also <laughs> yep. he also 
r rush uh, top hat. He, he attack, but he also Panic. deflect. Deflect, yeah. He, he protect. Viper. He attack. Yeah, Foster Viper. Uh, <laughs> God, yeah. the copy pasta here in the chat, I gotta say, is really on point tonight, guys. I really appreciate it. It's giving I us. I think good, it's only Captain Dogbeard. You know what? Uh, yeah. Well, thank you, Captain Dogbeard. I really appreciate it. Did no P before game? Dan's game. That's what I'm talking Damn. about. Um. Okay, so the banner's been completed. The blood razor is still extremely strange to me, but I think it just means Elliot's like, I'm putting you all in my own lunchbox, and we're just mm -hmm. gonna keep. I'm, it's my. It's that's our form of the backpack for this game. <laughs> uh, Swain needs to finish an abyssal mask. Mm -hmm. ASAP. Is that what he's going he for? Might, okay. He has to do that, in my opinion. Yeah. There's three AP threats. Uh, on the side, or AP damage sources, not threats. Only one threat of AP source. But you go that, and then I would have probably have gone either Ninja Tabby or Merc Treads instead of the Sork Shoes. Um, I don't mind the Sork Shoes that much, just because, like, cutting through the brand, especially early. But yeah, once once you get that, just get the... I mean, he also could go for Roa. I think the Abyssal Mask is the smarter Ugh. move here, since he is behind. He... Um... Because it does kind of just need to be there to assist Aruyan and Piper. I mean, we thought Aruyan was going to be a tank coming in, and then he built Blood Razor, so that's kind <laughs> of out the window. He does have damage. He can carry. He's 6-0-3. Yeah. Like, I, I, let the man do his thing. I think <laughs> Jim, Jimmy's idea here with going the Sork Shoes is that um, initially, when he built them, I don't think Euron had the six kills he had, and so <laughs> it... Um, the Swain might be going, you know, he, Jimmy might be going a little tanky here, but the Sork Shoes gives him a little bit of extra penetration for a little bit more damage, and so it's not just Jinx being the damage dealer, but Swain might be one, too. Mm -hmm. um, and, but, I mean, hey, maybe that thought process has changed. Yeah. So here, here's my rebuttal to that and how I feel it. Some people, including myself, when I first played this, it's everyone thinks if I do a little bit of everything – then I'm going to be really good at doing stuff, right? Mm -hmm. No, you need to do one thing well. And in this team comp, Swain needs to just take up a bunch of space because as we talked about before, the Malphite going to jump in. But if you can take, if you had Tabai, you're going to be the one as we come out of the pause that's going to be focused by this Sivir and Zin Zhao. Um, I, I just think that you should do one thing well and take... You know, stock in that is that we do see. Oh my god, Rafal is gonna ult it out of bad instincts as Maya will join him here for a gank. The Ornol will come out, but will it be enough? I gotta say no. Uh, it looks like that instincts will go down to Rafal, but Euron's here with six oh kills. He's gonna start pounding Maya. Where did Maya go? I don't know. What but the hell was that? Top Hex here, hopefully to. I'm not sure if they could do anything since the wave is bouncing back. Um. One kill goes to CND, but another goes to the lunchboxes of Doom. You, you mean the uh, Aruyan of Doom? <laughs> <laughs> True. What the I hell can't. was that? He went auto Q auto, got pressed the attack and killed him, and he didn't even have to burn oh ultimate because it was on cooldown. God. Nope. <laughs> it's just so much damage coming out here, and it looks like uh, Slag is going to knock up Adondo, and Adondo's going to spell shield. I think the spell shield was a little late here. The ignite will come off on Uramus. Um, uh. But... Hello? It, I don't, uh, Donville, uh, did I cut out? I'm so sorry, no, boys. You're no, not no, you. I'm we're, saying we're, we're commenting on the gameplay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, wait, Rurion's here in top of the lane. They're just gonna get first tower, just mm -hmm. force them down. Yo, God. What, how much gold is he? <laughs> He's up 2.6k gold Let's talk, yeah, over let's take the state of the game right now. It's 4 to 11. It's a 5,000 gold lead with the first tower and a Drake apiece. 5,000 gold lead and 2,500 at, so half of the gold lead is oh in. Oh my Tally. god, Adamville's gonna ult in though, and I don't think anything's gonna happen. I'm so sorry for cutting you off there, Sean. Go ahead. No, no, no you never fine. apologize for it. Just you're do it. I'm gonna play. apologize because I feel bad at No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 boys, okay. <laughs> Stop apologizing! No. Do it! <laughs> Damn it. Uh, um, on top they of, also I'm, grabbed Harold. I'm also just say, Ruyan, on top of having participated in 10 of 11, 11 kills, also has the highest vision score in the 
game. So he is also getting down vision for his team, securing those objectives as well. Oh my god, Ooh, wow. Gonna knock up. That's gonna a knock up two knock people. Up. The Swain ult's gonna come out as well as the Ornall, but will it be enough? Oh, the Ornall's no. gonna miss uh, literally everybody. Uh, um, you had three people right in front of you all clumped up, <laughs> and then you tried to snipe a Donville. However, uh, Rafal's ult is up. They might be looking for mid tower here. Um, with all the alts blown, just dive them, honestly, if they really want to. Um, I mean, but they gave oh up bottom God. tower. Hey. Elliot is not. Oh my God, Rafal's going to ult and flash in, and that's going to be a kill for Rafal. Well, that's a way to Wait. shut down the trundle. Yikes. Um, Yurimus also popped his ult on Rafal. I think that was a little bit out of fear, but um, hey, you never, you know. Better to be safe than sorry here in PMA LCS. I'll say this though, the only saving grace for the side of Lunchboxes of Doom and that is not only did they get bot lane tower even though they traded for this mid one right now, but the shutdown gold went on to their tank. It didn't go into a carry and the way that the uh, value system true. works, not everybody gets that gold. So you still have your Sivir and your brand grasping at straws here when it comes for kills and uh, getting some stuff. But they still have the Rift Herald. And Elliot is gonna like he's not gonna be a part of any team fight. He's, I'm gonna tell you this. He is gonna, gonna be the, the full book. one. He's getting blade of the room. I hope he gets. You know what? Just go rage blade at this point, dude. Seriously. Mm -hmm. He's getting a pork. Are you? Oh my god. He's gonna go ravenous hydra too, isn't he? He. I mean, he well, might. Uh, yeah, I think he has kills, to if he goes like... into the split push because he's not gonna be tanky enough to make the uh, Titanic make sense. Yeah. You know, something else I want to point out here, too, is typically Rafal, you know, we've seen in his games are, you know, is about 40, 50 CS ahead, and he's actually behind in CS this game. It's not looking too good here for CND, but if they keep team fighting like they just did, they might be able to come back here. The thing is, this is a greedier Trundle build. He is going for more offensive. If he had gone tank, he would just be actually unkillable in these fights, mm -hmm. and he would be able to help contribute to his team that way as it is he has to go split push yes he just absolutely destroys anyone he finds in the split push but and, and i do think yeah. to your point that sometimes you have to decide whether you want to just be this tank that's unkillable but the rest of his team at this point would not be able to put out any damage so he just might die even with that huge gold lead so maybe in the comms right now they're saying hey trundle be our king just just go in the side lane if anyone comes <laughs> if anyone comes to you you can ult one of the tankier members and get uh -oh. more stats that way as there is a death brush set up death brush here oh, they see him, oh, no, oh, they how? oh my god there's so much going on brand ult's gonna come so many ults uh, uh, I, right oh there. god i'm so bad at play by play but dude. hey that is a lot of wombos here going on um you're good dude however the mid tower is gonna go down here Wait, um, Baron's up in six seconds. CNC and they're just rotating to that. Yeah, oh my only my, my only God. worry about that is that what you burn so many. Your moves have flash. It looks like he's being kited by Piper, but nothing will happen. Your damage is decent, but I can tell you if Elliot comes in here, he's got the smite advantage on here. He, he does flash. have flash. Oh, oh my god. Panic at the top half just jumped. Oh my away. land top. That smite advantage is just gone away. Goodbye. That's a hero smite. play right there. Oh that, my god. That is got it. Oh Wait, my god. Piper? Piper, Piper. The scene Piper is going to go in here and won't do anything. Um, wow. That flash play, though, from Panic Holy. was so good. They, that, that is what they needed right there. That was, was that, so clutch, dude. Wow. Well, they can probably take this Drake as a consolation prize, but that 5,000 gold lead is still a 2,000 gold lead, but barren for the mm -hmm. side yeah. of Codename Carries next door. Box did have good wave management before that Baron, so they have two side lanes pushing that TNT, and you have to clean up before they can really get anything going with this Baron, but my is hanging around. Oh it's my god, out. and Lega's gonna go over the wall, and he's gonna flash back Whoa! over Oh! He's hungry. He's looking for his a cigar, but no, he will not dragon? get it. Wait, a, yeah. wait a minute! I didn't even see that. Elliot Holy wasn't crap! There because he was still dead. He stole what? it with a cube. Wow! Holy crap! They the can't even get a consolation prize here. The blade stole it. 
Oh my, oh my god. god. Yeah, and then you had to burn the flash on the side of Slaga because he tried mm -hmm. to get the jungler out, and now yep. it's just unfortunately not. Oh, we got the uh, really fall. Alt is gonna knock two people up here, but the Ornalt's gonna knock up three. Maya's ult's gonna come off, and he's been audioing it still up. Brand is gonna get his three stacks onto Sebastian, but it will not be enough. Euron is here. He's looking for something, but he will go down to a Donville here, who's just been pummeling the enemy team with autos, and it looks like it's a what is that? A one for three? I mean, I almost think it's a one for four right here. Oh yeah. my God! And goodbye. And just down like to the that, Maya the gold engage. Is gone. Oh There's no more God. gold lead. There's no more mid inhibitor for the lunch boxes of Doom. It is not looking good here. I gotta say, I think in retrospect, Euron should have went that tank route because that is what the lunch boxes of Doom need here right now. They don't, they need a really predominant tank, and they just don't have it because the Orn went the uh, the Spirit Visage she didn't I mean, really build that much health. Uh, let's I, let's well, be fair here. It, hey, while this crazy ass trundle build is probably not the most efficient for what his team comp needs, face checking into darkness they, like that as three people and not burning any flashes when you know there is kind of like a little bit of a missight on the side of lunchboxes of doom. Just like mm -hmm. oh, you know, we're trying to set up mid. Let's go over here. And also, oh, yeah. yeah, Slaga and Piper also clumped on top of each other in that last fight and allowed Rafal That's to just true. get off a perfect unstoppable force. Piper still has mm -hmm. flash up. Like, I mean, flashing the Malphite ultimate is, I mean, it's easier said than done, but after that, he didn't even get a the chance to Ornal's flash. The going to come out here in the top lane and will not like, knock oh. anybody up. Um, they're just trying to push this top wave out. Um, they just use it for wave clear, yeah. That's, but yeah, you're right. I wow. guess they're just... Yeah, no, they just Joe. need... Joe, you can what? say it. Say what? Y you can say it. Oh, well, you know, you hate to see that. <laughs> there you there. go. You know, with the Orn ult, the fall landing that perfect ult, um, and all the summoner spells on the side of Lunchbox of Doom still being up, even after that fight. Um, they probably should have used one or two to oh, maybe man. Okay, so savage that. Um, you want to talk about improper builds? We've already criticized... Uh, the Trundle build. Oh, Swain. But Swain's up next. Swain went, <laughs> yeah, Swain went the Rod of Ages build. And Ooh. I actually hate to see this. Oh my god, is Euron going to be I caught really up here, though? It uh, looks like Rafal's going to unstoppable force against Euron, but will it be enough here? We got Brand, yep, and that kill will go to Rafal again. Um, just... It looks like Euron's going to be caught off, but Slog is going to knock up Panic at the top half. But Panic at the top half is going to be ulted by the Lulu. He's just pumping out damage. Can any, is anybody going to die here? Doesn't look so. Oh. The Jinx ult is going to go right through him for a nice field goal here. But Maie is trying to go in on this Jinx here. It will not be enough. His ultimate's popped, but it cannot negate the Swain damage. Swain will go down here to Rafal's E, but Rafal will go down to Piper. Um, Wait, what? And I don't know what happened to Orn's ult there, but Maie is going to be able to kill the Orn here just by autoing him with his uh, Q stacks. And Panic at the top hat is going to flash in and W, Panic. but miss, um, and is just going to give that kill to Piper. Don't really know. <laughs> hello. <laughs> two um, for two. Yikes. Wait, two no, three for two with the Yeah, a lot being blown here um, for really not that much to gain on either side. Um... Wow. Yeah, three minutes ago we were looking at CNDC, whatever, them, taking a gold lead for the first time. And now it's just, it's full blown, we're just going to chase fights and everything, we know we're the stronger team right now. But I can tell you this, if you keep on feeding these free kills to this Jinx, and there is one good team fight, as someone in chat named Karut328 <coughs> said, uh, one good team fight in the late game doesn't matter what happened in any of the early game for either team. Mm -hmm. It's just, this Jinx is about to come online once she gets that rapid fire cannon. Um, and if Orn hits an ultimate on some key targets, it'll be massive. As Dragon is going to be up in 50 seconds, and it'll be an air drake. I think Piper just need, needs to build a GA now more than anything. Like, the rapid mm -hmm. fire cannon is nice. Like, you want more damage, but he is... He, he's 70, 65 CS up on a Donville, 
and you just need to survive in these fights. It's you can't really QSS that much. Like yes, you can QSS the unstoppable force, but then he that means he has to flash out. If he doesn't have flash, he's dead anyway. So just having GA, also having that stopwatch, um, at first, and then getting that into GA. There's two forms of staying alive in two different fights. So mm -hmm. I think he just. I mean, I don't mind the zeal right now, but next he has to get that stopwatch. Oh, definitely. Uh, um, I would I would venture to say that he actually needs a last whisper item. Oh, that too, uh, just to cut through Malphite. Uh, yeah, there's there's so much people yeah. who are going to be on his face, and if he can't shred through that, it's going to be really really tough. I am not one for this, but I think this situation might call for it. I would sell that Blade of the Ruin King and switch out my jungle enchantment if I was a side of Irion on uh, lunch boxes of demons. They're we looking for Baron right now. Holy, we have 36 viewers. Holy hey, shit, dude. Kappa, what's good, and boys? I'm seeing, I'm seeing a oh, lot of Oh, no, we I got the Ornall coming in here, and it's going to knock up uh, literally nobody. Second uh, field goal score, but Saga's going to W in and knock up two people game. as Rafal is going to just go in on four people, trying to get the Suede off popped here. The Brand off has been popped. Everything is, like, going on here, and it, we just got kills happening left and right. Oh my god, a flawless team fight though here on the side of CND. A five, a, a, a one for five here, and CND might just be able to end off this. 30 second death timers, yeah, I think they do. They have the minion wave in mid, they don't have an inhibitor tower in their way. Just the perfect team fight. And it looks like they will be able to complete the comeback here after such a monstrous early game from Arubion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're looking about. Ten minutes ago, this is a lunch boxes of Doom game, and now ten minutes later, it spells their Doom as both of their Nexus towers go down and their uh, Nexus after that. You know, we said we said two minutes ago that it was going to be down to one team fight, and that is exactly what happened here. CND was able to team fight very well. It was one team lunch fight. Box. It was one team fight for box. I think. I think that mm, C and okay. CND just yeah they 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 just found fight after fight and they. Yeah, they 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 pulled it out. Yeah, they did. Wow, what a crazy, uh, what a wacky first game here, uh, week three PMA LCS. Okay, and before we do our standard thing where we look at damage charts, I want to let y'all know that Brand is a champion. Oh no, that I'm not gonna look at damage. I'm, I'm just gonna... telling. I'm telling chat. I'm telling chat. <laughs> yeah, don't Brand freak out about Brand damage. That does AOE yeah. damage. Mm -hmm. He could have been in the support role and probably would have done just as much damage. Oh, I'm definitely. just going to let you all know. You're not wrong, dude. As as a brand support main, that's why you play brand, just to pump out that damage. And so, um, I don't know when we're going to pull up the damage charts, but I can definitely assure you that it is astronomically high um, compared to everybody else. He almost uh, had, not, he had about 900 damage per minute. Yep. And... Yeah. Holy crap. My only thing is that if you look at the damage from the Trundle with the build that they went, I feel like about 10,000 <laughs> of that damage was probably in the early game. Um, Jinx never really being able to do anything kind of gets countered by that Zin Zhao because there were so many times that Zin Zhao was really, really low, but he had his ultimate up and Zinx, uh, Jinx was just focusing him. He couldn't get to him and then... Having you know, other times Maya is right on top of Jinx. So I'm not uh, gonna. I think this game you actually give MVP to Rafal, because I mean you run down. I mean Adonville and Yermus both did not die, but they didn't do. They weren't. They didn't do a ton. Like they mm -hmm. played fine, but they didn't. They just didn't contribute like an absolute ton. Rafal was there engaging every fight. No one really feels like an MVP from CND. Yeah, you're not wrong. Um. K root. Uh, Maie got out jungled so hard in the early game and just and was contributing the fights. Then like kind of like the bot lane didn't just didn't do a ton. Um, Panic at the top out had some questionable plays and also died a lot early. Rafal ended the game with the most tied for most deaths in the game, but he was also he was the playmaker. He was he died in every fight because he was sit, the one engaging into the middle of all of box. Distracting them, CCing them, allowing the brand and the Sivir to follow up with all that damage. And we have this debate of the carries versus the facilitators, and I think this time it is the facilitator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go with, even after all the talk I said about what brand damage does, I'm going to give it to brand. I'm going to give it to Panic at the Top Bat. Uh, because 
I just want I just want everyone to know. Oh my God, he has to win because he's got damage charge. Uh, no, but he did get the solo kill mid. He relieved mm -hmm. some pressure there. But he did he not get two solo kills, so therefore, nope. So therefore, Murphy Rodette owes everybody again. No. Um, <laughs> but he also secured the Baron with the flash play over. He had some massive ultimates. I mean, it, it's the nature of all their champions. Sivir does well in team fights. Malphite does well in team fights. Uh, Brand does well in team fights. So there is that, you know. Th they have those style of champions that work well in team fights, and so they're going to do well. But I just think Brand making those flashy plays, whether or not they worked out in the end, as we saw under the two, tier two tower going a little bit too aggressive. But I think that secure on Baron is huge because if Elliot gets in there, he does have a smite advantage. Yeah, being one level up at the time. I'll throw uh, in. I don't. Th I don't remember Rafal ever whiffing a Malphite ultimate. I think. If I mean, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but every single fight he was landing multiple man, um, unstoppable mm -hmm. forces, and those well, were just I, winning team fight did, after team fight. I mean, if we're gonna do that, I mean, I, I also think he was a little bit too aggressive in lane, and I mean, also yeah, solo that's died that's also top true. lane. There's... So, like again, as people said, no one really feels like that. You know, when you no when you play like for the majority. Game. When 20 minutes of the game, you're on the back foot, and then the game ends eight and a half minutes later, it's really hard to dissect those eight and a half minutes of who did their job and who did mm -hmm. it best. Yeah. So, I mean, you know... And it's, I, I'm me? gonna... Can, I, Joe, I, oh, I'd love for you to make ahead. a point, but... I mean, no, you can Joe, also, Joe, Joe we, can make the point now. We, got, we gotta cut the stream real quick so we can get into game two, make the point when we get back. We got this. Stick around for game two, guys. We're cutting the VOD for YouTube. BRB.